Hey Vikings fans, week six is here and we're back home in Minneapolis as the two and three Vikings host the 0 and four Lions. The Lions starting quarterback John Kitten will be out today, so Dan Orlovsky will be starting. A little over three minutes left in the first quarter. Third and two for the Vikings and the Lions 32. Farrat back to pass, but Shanko can't hold on to the ball. So the Vikings will have to kick a 50 yard field goal. No, wait! In all of his infinite wisdom, Children decides to punt from the Lions 32. Louie does manage to get the ball out of bounds though, so maybe this week the Vikings won't have to try out punters. Five minutes left in the second quarter, score still 0-0. Vikings have the ball at the Detroit 15. Farad is back to pass and he finds Sidney Rice at the five yard line. Next play, Farad back to pass all kinds of time and Farad finds Shanko in the end zone and Shanko is able to hold on to the ball this time. Vikings go up 7-0. 246 left in the second quarter, score still 7-0. The Lions have the ball, 39 on the Minnesota 32. Back to pass, but Charles Gordon is there to bat the pass away. Lions in field goal range, but they decide to take a play right out of the Vikings playbook and punt the ball away. A few plays later, Vikings ball, third and 12 from their own 15. Frott fakes the handoff to Taylor, back to pass, terrible pass, and it is picked off. Lions ball with a good field goal. A minute to go in the half, second and 10 from the Minnesota 15, Orlovsky back to pass and he finds Calvin Johnson at the Minnesota 5, first and goal. After an incomplete pass, it's second and goal from the 5, Orlovsky back to pass, but a blitz and Cedric Griffin has other plans, he gets the sack. Third down, Orlovsky back to pass, but his receiver is well short of the end zone, the Lions will have to settle for three. Last play of the half. Brought back to pass, but he manages to find a lion instead of a Viking. The defender runs a decent return, but the Vikings manage to pull him down and luckily prevent the score. 247 left in the third quarter. Score still 7-3, second and two from the Vikings own 35. Brock drops back to pass, finds City Rice on a nice slant. Rice is able to break a couple big tackles and he makes it to the Lions 31. Third and 17, Farad back to pass. He finds Shanko, who does his best Jermaine Wiggins impression. Catches the ball, but ends up two yards short of the marker. Vikings set up the field goal, but Longwell takes it wide right. Score still 7-3. Still in the third quarter, Lions have a third and nine. Orlovsky back to pass, and Griffin makes the read and makes the play. The Vikings, however, can't capitalize on the good field position, but this time Longwell hits. Vikings up 10 307 left in the game. Vikings are up 10-6 after a Lions field goal. Brought back to pass, and it's picked off again. Third and goal from the Minnesota 5. Orlovsky back to pass, finds his receiver with a very quick pass, and the Lions take the first lead of the game 13. 31 seconds left in the game. Vikings fall up the Lions 41. Farad is back to pass and finds Sidney Rice open deep, and the Vikings are in scoring position. For some reason, though, the Vikings don't even try for the win. They let the clock run down to the 9-second mark, and they spike the ball despite the fact that they have a timeout. Longwell puts up the field goal and sends this game into overtime. 13 minutes. 155 left in overtime, no score yet. The Lions have the ball on the Minnesota 28. Orlovsky is back to pass and he finds his man on the Minnesota 10. The Lions don't even risk it. They kick the field goal, they win the game.